Hello everyone, welcome back to Code Enzyme. This is the 10th video of the series, Graph Algorithms for Competitive Programming. So in this video, we will discuss uh, another problem on DP with graphs. Uh, so before starting this video, I would like you to hit that like and subscribe button as majority of my viewers are not subscribed to the channel. And if you were actually watching this, kindly comment down as I am getting very less views on, the, on, on these videos. So I don't know if I should continue this or not. So if it is really actually helping you, kindly comment down. So that will motivate me. So now, uh, today's problem that we are going to tackle is uh, called game routes. Now this is also from the CSES problem set. If you want me to consider some other problem sets also kindly comment down. Uh, you can also send me the link of the problem. So if I feel that it is uh, aligned with one of my topics in the future then I will consider that problem. Okay, now let's first read the problem statement. A uh, game has n levels connected by m teleporters. Your task is to get from level 1 to level n obviously the game has been designed so that there are no directed cycles in the underlying graphs so we do not have to check for directed cycles and this statement that the game is designed so that there are no cycles it somehow hints that this is a topological sort problem because uh, if the graph has no directed cycles then the graph will have a topological sort okay and the previous uh, problems have been uh, are being solved using topological sort so this is also a hint kind of a hint that we need to use topological sort in this problem and in how many ways can you complete the game so whenever we have a maximization problem or a minimization problem or basically you can say an optimization problem or we have a counting problem uh, like this uh, to count the number of uh, ways to complete the game uh, it, there is a high chance that we can use dynamic programming to calculate the answer now since n is 10 to the power 5, uh, we want to solve this in big O of n or big O of log n time, uh, n log n time, right? And m is 2 into 10 to the power 5, so we can't, uh, we can't do n into m time, right? So one way is clearly, uh, I can use a DFS, like one would be a brute force way to use a DFS from node 1 to node n. Let's say we have something like, so clearly we have uh, like, I can say clearly we have 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 4 ways of reaching this n now you might argue that what uh, so we can just count the out in uh, in degree of the nth node and that will be the answer so let me change this a bit node. so if you do a dfs there will be one two three four four ways but the in degree is only three so the answer is not the in degree of the nodes it is equals to the uh what should i say it is equals to the I mean we have to count the number of ways so clearly one would be the brute force way to use a dfs from node 1 and the number of times whenever we reach 12 we will do an answer plus plus now just to show you the code like if you want to try this out i i did submit a tla solution so i will just show you the code uh, just to give you an idea how you can go about this so we will first take a, a unv as the input uh, so graph of u dot pushback v because this, is, this will be a directed graph and since you are using depth for search, you need to make a visited, visited array. Initially, all values are false. And this is a function like whenever we reach n, then I am incrementing the answer variable. And we need to take mod with it. Okay. Otherwise, it is the same DFS function and we are doing a DFS from node 1. Now, such counting problems are generally solved using dynamic programming. So, let's define a DP array. So, let's say DP of i is equals to the number of ways to reach i from node 1 right so clearly my base cases would be dp of 1 is equals to uh, 1 because i can reach 1 from 1 so the number of ways from uh, to reach i from node 1 is 1 because i am already at 1 now clearly like for this 2 uh, the number of ways is 1 1 1 right for 5, the number of ways to reach this is 1 and I think I should use a different color. So let me write, rewrite everything again. So I have 1 here, 1 and 1 and clearly to reach 5 we have a 1, uh, This are, for 6 we have 1, 7 we have 1 and 8 we have 1. Now to reach 9, there are 2 ways and this is exactly equals to the sum of the previous in degree nodes, right? So this will become 2, this is 1, this is 1 and to reach 12, I can take the sum of these values. So this will become uh, 4. So the number of ways to reach 4, uh, so, so the number of ways to reach 12 is equals to 4. So now I can define my transition states as 
dp of i is equals to summation of dp of j given that there is an edge from j to i and j is in topo sort right i mean i i can't go like first this way and then i have to do this i have to traverse then in in i have to traverse this this in level order traversal like something like a bfs now this will not work if you are not using topological sort why it will not work because let's say you traverse from uh, first you go in this direction so you have one 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 and one again and then you are going in this direction so you have one uh, i think this will become one and you sum it this will become two and then you do it again this will not become equals to uh plus, when you do plus equals to this will become 3 right so it is wrong like now when you add it again from 9 to 12 this will become equals to 3 which is which will give you a wrong answer basically so that is why we want, we have to follow this in a topological sort fashion so i hope you were able to understand it if not you can just rewind the video a couple of minutes before and then rewatch this part again because understanding this part is very necessary to solve this problem Okay, I hope you were able to understand the approach. Now let's try to actually code this up. So I will open my code editor. So in the comments, I actually get a, a lot of queries like what extensions I am using. So I will also discuss that here. Uh, this this extension that I use is called Competitive Companion. So you can just click here and make a new file in your VS Code like that. Competitive uh, and this is the CPH extension. It is also written here CPH judge extension for the VS Code to import the test cases. Let's say int nm cn n and m vector int graph of n plus one nodes because I am using one based indexing. Then for i in range m int u v uh, cn u and v. And then since this is a directed graph, I will say graph of u. dot push back v okay i think this much is very clear now what we want to do is uh, i mean we have this graph first we want to find a topological sort because i want to so uh, i want to go in this fashion so uh, now i think everyone already knows how to calculate the topological sort for topological sort we have two uh, approaches one is using the cancel algorithm uh, and one is using depth or search So I will code this in DFS, but I will also show you the console code and code uh, just so for reference purposes. Okay, now for uh, DFS, what I can say first we have vector int uh, visited of n plus one and false, right? And then a vector int for topological sort. Let's make this vector bool and uh, vector int for topological sort. Now what? Let's code a function void. of int and let's call this dfs and this will be a lambda function let's say int node and uh, okay now actually there is also there are two ways to do this i can either make this a global function and then use it here uh, but i will have to make these two or pass it by reference so i prefer using lambda functions uh, you can code that however you want basically what you just want to find the topological sort of this graph from node one so here i can say visited of node equals to true uh, true and it was given the question that a topological sort will always exist because this is a directed graph so i can say int child in graph node uh dfs child now i can say topo dot push back node so uh, we are here now now uh, i will have some sort of topological sort now i can reverse this whole graph so uh reverse topo dot begin uh, comma topo dot end so the, now uh, it was in the reverse fashion so now we have the topological sort in this array now what i want to do is uh, i want to traverse let's say uh, i will initialize my db array so db of n plus 1 comma 0 obviously my dp of 1 will equals will be equals to 1 because i said that before now for int x in uh, topo uh, i forgot to call the uh, dfs function so let's say dfs of 1 now for int, int x in topo i will say uh, 
dp of x i mean for all the children in this uh, topological sort so for int children and in, uh, in graph of x so all the children i will push this uh, distance so i can say dp of child plus equals to dp of uh, x and then i can simply print c or dp of n uh, let's try to run this and see if it is working so we got the correct answer but there is one thing that i missed uh, that is i have to take modulus now for modulus what i can do is uh, i can write it something like dp of child plus dp of node and mod and i think there is also one more thing wrong here uh, that uh, i should also say if not visited of node otherwise this will give me a very big answer because uh, i mean that is not the correct way to do dfs so i think this will also this should also work uh, okay uh, it should be visited of child not visited of node sorry about that i think i am very nervous while making the video but okay now let's try to submit this and see if it works okay a solution got accepted and i hope you were able to understand the approach now let's also see the kans algorithm code as i promised um, so for kans algorithm basically uh, we don't actually need to calculate the dfa uh, the topological sort uh, the current node will always be the first node of the topological sort so it is the same thing just using the kans algorithm uh, as the n degree decreases that will be the current u that is in the front of the queue that will represent the current node of the topological sort and now i can simply calculate the distances just like i did in the previous algorithm so i hope you were able to understand this approach and if you have any doubts you can comment down and i will answer to them so thanks guys for watching till here if you have watched till here kindly comment down so i can feel some motivation and uh, thanks guys really really appreciate it if you have watched till here thank you